In this question, we're going to estimate the population mean with a 99% confidence interval. We're using a sample, size 66, has a mean and a standard deviation. So we have our notes right here. We're going to need a bunch of these. I'll grab all these right here. Copy. I'm going to start a new sheet and paste them in. All right, let's start out writing down all the information. Uh, I've been putting the mean first, so we're going to go the mean x 33.7 size. We'll do standard deviation next s. Uh, let's see, 8.1. N is our sample size, 66 for me. All right, confidence. So my confidence is 99%, that's 0.99. But remember, we have to take this halfway to one. So we're going average, we're gonna average one and this 0.99. So this is my actual confidence here. My T value is using this. This is T inverse. And probability is what we just got there. Degrees of freedom is n minus one. And this is all right here in row four. That's what we're doing. Uh, next up, we need to get the error estimate right here. EBM. So this is T times S. Oops, T times S divided by square root of n. All right, give you a few seconds to type that in. Uh, remember, if you ever miss any of these, just go to the four arrows here and it'll let you drag it somewhere else where you need to. Oh, I don't know why they were both read a second ago, I swear, but all right, so these look all correct. Uh, remember, your t-value should always be something close to two. All right, error bound, and now we're ready for the low and the high. So these low and the high, it's average minus the error is the low, and average plus the error is the high. So low is average minus the error we just got. And so that's how far below the average the lower estimate is. And high is similar, average plus error. And again, that's right at the top of the screen, right here, it's those two. All right, that's the low and the high. Be careful the question you're entering it into, they're all set up a little differently. This one says answer as an open interval with parentheses, accurate to one decimal place. So you could let Excel, uh, do your decimal rounding here. Of course, I could do that myself. 31.1 is the low, 36.3 is the high. Um, I'll turn this in. There's a few other parts here, but we got that one right. All right, is it safe to assume? So this means the end's not supposed to be too large and uh, be more than 5% of the population. Uh, they don't tell us about the population, so it's hard to say we're safe to assume, but they're going to want us to do yes here. Is n greater than 30? Yes, it is 66 for me, definitely greater than 30. Turn that in. All right, 